Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Cancer? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Happy birthday. This is Cancer Month up until I believe it's June, July the 22nd. I want to say happy birthday. I hope you all are living your best life. I hope you all are keeping your vibration, your energy up. Cancer, I love you guys from my OGs to my recentlies and my newies. Please make sure you keep your vibration, your energy up. Think positive. Keep a positive thought. I know it can be very challenging at times, okay? Uh, to new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, and leave the rest for someone else, all right? I've already cleared the energy, Cancer. And so we're going to pull a card and see what's in your energy because I'm big on energy, okay? So let's get started, all right? Yes, there's a new cycle. The world card, you are entering into a new cycle, Cancer. As you know that the world is shifting, it's shedding off your old skin. And you, you need to be making sure that you are operating from a good energy, a good vibration. And a lot of you are coming out of a very dark cycle. <clears throat> and no, it was not easy. It was not easy. You understand me? It was very difficult, very hard, very lonely. When you're going through a healing process, it gets very dark. It gets very lonely. And oh, Miss Positive Thoughts of Energy, how you know? Because I've had to do the same thing. You understand? So you're coming out of that cycle, that darkness, that healing your old traumas. Okay, going to letting go of things that no longer serve you, uh, having a different perspective on life. You're, you're changing your whole mind, body and soul. But before you can shed that, uh, before you can get to this new cycle, you have to shed off old things, old people. Everybody can't come along with you, baby. You understand as you go through, go on with your life, on with your journey, you understand why everyone cannot come along with you. Family, friends, whatever, they have to be let go of, okay? So in your energy, you're starting a new cycle. Spirit guys, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, there's a strategy. Uh, this cycle, I feel as though that some of you just like you're trying to figure it out. OK, it's like if some of you can be you can have a journal, you could be journalizing a lot of things. This new journey that you're on. Um, also, a lot of you could be thinking about new ways of doing things, a strategy. You writing it down because you when you write it down, you are manifesting it. OK, you're writing it. You're bringing it out of your thoughts onto paper and you're, you, 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 you're releasing it into the universe. So a lot of you are coming up with a strategy with this new cycle, a new way of doing things, a new way of, um, of, of, of energy. You have adjusted possibilities. So you got a lot of doors, a lot of options that are coming open for you, Cancer. And it's going to make you very happy. You have the sun card on the bottom of the deck. I love this. I love this. You've gained a lot of energy. You've gained a lot of strength and confidence. You see that? The angel of strength. You've learned how to tame yourself. Some of you, I feel as though, was going through um, uh, maybe uh, um, uh, anger issues, okay? But you are learning how to tame that beast within you. And, and it wasn't easy, OK, but you're happy. Your cup is about to be full. Your, your, your cup is filling back up. I feel as though at one point in time, as you went through this dark, this dark cycle in your life, cancer, your cup is being full. At one point in time, you were deplenished by people, by relationships that took all of you, that, that you poured so much into someone else's cup. Now that you have done the healing, you're pouring it back into your cup, okay? And now you're going to be sitting very happy, full of yourself, feeling free, feeling good, enjoying life again. But you had to go through this, to get to this. And this is a beautiful thing. I love this. And you've gained a lot of strength. 
Okay, you've gained a lot of strength. A lot of your magicians, you're manifesting a lot in your life. Oh, you, you, you just realizing how much power you have. Cancer, you have a lot of power within you, baby. You just got to push forward and you got to believe in it. You're definitely gifted. Okay, so let's see what your affirmation card is, Cancer. Spirit, guys, this is for Cancer. Affirmation for Cancer. This is for Cancer. Thank you. Okay, you have abundance coming into your life. You are attracting abundance. All right, money, flow of good luck, uh, uh, love. It, abundance can be your health is 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 improving. Uh, your 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 love life, just your self care, your love. It says, I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities and directions. You see that? So the energy, you coming out of this cycle into your happiness, Cancer, uh, you are attracting uh, so much uh, that's coming towards you and your cup is going to be running over. You see how close that water is to that cup? You are filled back up. You've learned to love yourself. You've learned to uh, that self-care you have poured back in yourself after all this lonely letting go and really digging deep into who you are. Now you're coming up with a strategy trying to trying to, you know, this is a new a new world, a new shift in your life, a new cycle going on. But your strategy, you're going to have all kind of doors opening up to you. Abundance. If you have not been having the best of luck finding jobs, OK, you're getting ready to have options. You're going to have different doors you can walk that you're going to have the privilege of walking through let me make sure this is up okay that you are going to have a lot of options whether it's in uh, your your financial life your job life your career or this can be in um you know finding uh, someone that is going to match your energy this can be in a connection as well so let's see spirit guys give me another card thank you clarity exactly clarity you're gaining clarity and it fell right on the sun card counselor you are gaining clarity you have clarity you're coming up with a strategy like you know this feels different miss positive thoughts of energy but i love i love this feeling. I love that my cup is now being filled back up, that I am in control of my life, my destiny. I am my story. Okay. And you are your story and you are powerful. Now you're gaining a lot of clarity on why you going through or why you went through what you went through. Okay. That was to heal you. That was the life, your life's lessons. Okay. And spirit guys, the way spirit guys, divine works cancer is that when it feels as though that you have not learned your lesson, it will keep bringing back the same the same um, problem or the same situation until you resolve that solution. OK, and it, until you pass that test. But a lot of you gain clarity. It says, as I begin walking my path of self-discovery, I find clarity with each step taken and new truths are discovered. Exactly. The strategy the clarity. You're learning a lot, a lot about yourself now. You learn it that, wow, I would never, ever let someone take and drain all of my fluids out of my body, drain my energy ever again. So you have abundance and clarity um, in your life, uh, options and opportunities because you've gained a lot of strength. You're getting ready to start a new cycle. Any other message? Another affirmation card for cancer. Spirit guys, another affirmation card for cancer. Is there another affirmation card? Thank you, spirit guys, divine universe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Change in this one. Okay. Um, and sometimes in hope. All right. So the cards that fell out is the first card was feel cancer. The second card is this a change. And your other card is have faith. And at the bottom of this deck, it is hope. Okay. So spirit guys say yes. 
This is going to be a change, a shift in your life because you have passed the test, the cycle. You've done a lot of healing here, okay? But you're going to realize that it's so much out in that world, in this world, that is that is enough of room for everybody. There's plenty of oysters out here into the universe, okay? And so, yes, you got to feel your way through this change. And that's where the strategy comes up at, because you're about to be living a different life. OK, it says, I feel my way through many situations, circumstances and events that forms in my life. You begin to feel your way through and you begin to 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 gain a lot of clarity. And that's how your abundance begin to flow in your life, because you are allowing freely your energy to expand into the universe where you can make and you can see the great changes and the things that you deserve in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. The other card is change. Okay. Other card is change, Cancer. It says change take places each day of my life in infinity ways. And I embrace, welcome, look forward to these new opportunities. So you have a you have a lot of beautiful abundance changes that's taking place. Doors are opening up, options. You know, you're gonna have more than one job offer. You're gonna have one more than one suitor that a person that's interested in you. A lot of change is happening in your life, okay? You are stepping into a new realm. You're stepping into a new cycle of your life. And spirit guides want you to have and keep the faith. Okay. Don't doubt it. I want you to keep staying positive, talking, speaking positive, and know it's not easy. I'm not here to tell you and sugarcoat, sugarcoat it and tell you that it's easy because it's not easy. But if you, the more you speak life into this situation, the more you begin to feel a brightness, you start to feel a radiant a energy flowing within your body. But you have to keep the faith. It says, I have faith in myself and the universe that together we will orchestrate and manifest my heart's desire. Okay? Keep the faith, baby. Because you're getting change. You're getting clarity. And it's a beautiful thing. So let's see what is in your reading. Spirit guides. Yeah, I just seen the devil in reverse. You're letting go of a lot of toxic situations. Some of you could have let go of some um, some addictions, drinking, drugs. You you and that that was very very a dark very place. Some toxic relationships, toxic friends, toxic families. You have released and let go of. Spirit guides, what is the reading for Cancer? What is Cancer's reading? Thank you, Spirit guides. What is the reading for Cancer? Thank you. Yes, you have the six of pentacles. You're going to you're getting ready to be on the giving side. In the past, you have been through so much. OK, I'm putting this card up here because you have been through so much. People being very selfish, people breadcrumbing you, family relationships, treating you any kind of way, hot and cold in your life. Only come around when they want something. Don't value you. Don't don't give back the same as you. You're about to be on the giving side. You're going to be helping those that had helped you. Remember, spirit guides say to help those that had that have helped you. OK, bless yourself first because you're about to be abundantly blessed cancer. OK, spirit guides, tell me more about cancer's reading. Happy birthday, Cancer. I love you guys. Make sure you enjoy your beautiful day. If you already had a birthday, happy belated birthday. I love you guys. Okay, what else in the reading for Cancer? What else for Cancer? So you got a message, communication coming. All right. Or this is where you have gotten over a heartbreak. OK. And I feel as though that you are going to. 
um, it's all about air, okay? The eight of wands is about air messages. Um, just being, being at a point in time in your life, I feel like that you're accepting that you have gotten over a heartbreak. Um, you could be getting a message, some type of line of communication, all right, coming towards you from someone that broke your heart. They may try to be, they may try and manipulate you in some kind of way. Um, don't fall for it. Stay away from this person because this person, this person wants to come back and collaborate with you, but they're being very manipulating. That means that they're just wanting to be back in your energy. So you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. The divine universe is about to bless you. You're about to get a hand, a large amount of money. Remember when I told you you're about to help other people? You're going to be on the giving side. Not only that, this can also let you know that there is a strong communication of someone that wants to invest in you. This can be a business that someone wants to come in and invest, wants to give you. This is divine universe wants to give you a large amount of money. You're going from the Six of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. If not that, you got definitely got a commitment coming in because you have done the healing. Congratulations, Cancer. You have learned how to pour into yourself. You have learned how to fill your cup back up. You can have Aquarius strong in your chart, but you are about to be a star in some type of light. Okay. Yes. Look at here. You have done the healing. And you have poured back into yourself. You have filled your cup up. You are now back in control of your life. And a lot of, a lot of you feel so good, so happy. And you're about to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This dark place that you were at. See how the light's coming through? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Get ready for your abundance. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready for this change, this shift, this, this beautiful uh, opportunities coming in your life, Cancer. You got a king coming in, okay? This is King of Wands. This is someone that is very a leader, could be a Sagittarius. This person is definitely a king or a queen. Reverse the roles how they fit in your life. Any other message for Cancer? Look at here. Your future celebrating, baby. Your future. This person sees you in your in your in the future. Not only that, you're about to be celebrated because you deserve it. Look here, the strength card. The strength double confirmation. You're manifesting. You have manifested, and you made it out of this cycle. You made it out of this cycle, honey. Congratulations, congratulations, Cancer. You made it out of this cycle. Mm -hmm. And look at you. You are the empress. You can't get no better than this. You're in the empress energy. You have you have leveled up. When I tell you leveled, you are in the beginning, a new beginning stages. Some of you may be even pregnant. But this is a new cycle, new things, new options, new opportunities, a new pathway just for you. I'm positive. That's the energy cancer. Until next time.